Okay, so pay attention to procedures, as I had said. And uh, just going back to something that Leanne had said, uh, we do consider uh, student conduct and ethical behavior as extremely important here in the university. And plagiarism is just one of them. Uh, your professors and everyone on campus takes cheating, take cheating very seriously or taking things that are not yours. So for example, in a lab, you might have some equipment. And if you take that, that's considered stealing. And the university does have a policy of um, sanctions, various sanctions for different uh, transgressions regarding student conduct, either cheating, plagiarism, um, stealing, and those sorts of things. Um, you could get a suspension, you could get an impact on your grades, and depending on the severity, you might even be expelled. So that could, um, the university does go ahead and uh, proceed with such actions. So just want to um, impress on everyone that it's important for you to stay honest. It's part of your um, development here in San Jose State and to avoid any plagiarism as Leanne had described and also any instances of cheating or avoid temptations or actions of cheating. Um, as some of the committee members had already said, you should be paying attention to your MySJSU messages. How many of you are already on MySJSU? Great. How many of you, of you are on Facebook that is specifically for your department or your friends, a community of folks who are in your major? Great. Those are also great sources for tips. But again, as the folks here in the panel have mentioned, those are idiosyncratic as well, right? So make sure you take it all with a grain of salt. But yes, those are great ways to hear about um, things that you options you have while you are here in the United States in your program here. But um, also pay attention to MySJSU because if you miss one of those, it could mean that all your classes might be dropped, say because your payment was due at a certain time. And it's very, very difficult to deal with something like that after the fact. It's better to pay attention to the messages and actually catch those things before you, you reach a deadline. You are in a large university. That means you get a lot of benefits. It's all the resources that were talked about already and I will mention later, that comes from being in this large university. You also, when you're doing your work, you have the opportunity to work with folks from dis different disciplines because we have a good range of um, colleges here. But that also means that we are a big bureaucracy. Right, so we are San Jose State, but we're also part of the CSU system. And that makes us a very big bureaucracy. We're 23 campuses. So that means that these messages are a key way for you to find out how not to get in trouble with this bureaucracy, because it gets very difficult to deal with once you, you get an exception. So pay very close attention to my SJC messages to avoid a lot of additional coordination and work um, in addition to what you're doing in classes. Here are some key resources. Um, the top one that many of you can benefit from is the IPS, International Programs and Scholars Group Unit. Uh, Leanne is part of it. And they know the most about what your options are if you're an international student. There are many regulations, there are many things that can help you deal with some difficulties, but the persons who know the most about that are in the IPS office. So there's a link, get to know them, visit them, and uh, try to see uh, what are the things that might be able to help you while you are over here. The other one is um, for your academic advising. Each of the departments has an advising center. So go and get to know your advisor, ask them, um, you can get the plans that are on our catalog, but the advisor has seen many, many other students like you who maybe have to be, to change things a little bit, or maybe you need some advice on what electives to take and things like that. You can start with the advisor to see what your options are, and then of course go and talk to a professor 
so they can help you pick the electives that match the most what you need for, to, for, the, for your interests, for what you want to do with your career. But advising centers are extremely good as first, first steps, first people to talk to you to find out where you can get help in the university and also find out the general structure and options you have for your program. There's a counseling center that was already mentioned. I should also say that they have both an educational counselor and they have personal counselors. So this isn't just um, a place where you, you would go for psychological counseling if you're having a, a crisis. They also advise students on their academics. So if you're having some trouble with time management or just understanding the US system of education, you can go to an educational counselor in the counseling services group. I've got the address right here on the website. Make, um, make Find a way out of the issue that you're dealing with. There is the Accessible Education Center. Uh, San Jose State uh, is really committed to helping access, uh, students who need uh, accommodations in the classes. It's not just students with the disabilities like being blind or or um, deaf, although that also is part of it. But also if, say, you, need, you have a learning disability, you can go to the Accessible Education Center and they will do an assessment and you will get the accommodations you need. So some students get some extra time for exams if they need it, or they might get a note taker in the class. And some students actually will have, if they're deaf, they will send over to sign language experts so you can actually follow the lecture while your professor is giving it. So this is a service to all of you. Um, and if you think you would need some of this service, go to the Accessible Education Center. And again, it's all, both what the Counseling Center does and the Accessible Education Center services are very confidential. So as a professor, I didn't actually know necessarily, I could guess sometimes, what the um, disability was that the student has, has. So it's all confidential as, and everyone is just on a need to know basis. So you can feel protected uh, and, and have your privacy protected even if you work with these centers. Campus life is very important. Uh, we have a lot of clubs, over 300 clubs. And many of them are cultural in nature. Some are sports clubs. But many of them are also professional clubs. So you get a chance to network with folks in your specific industry, in your specific area of interest. And also you get a chance to engage in leadership activities. So it's a good, good place to be involved as well. And lastly, there's the Spartan Success Portal, where you can see pointers to many different resources to help you with success here. And maybe one of the most useful things is that there's a link there for online classes that you can use to help improve your skills for studying here. So it's a little different system here. Or maybe you have text, test anxiety. They have online courses that you can take to help you build some skills to deal with these different issues. So what are smart ways to study? It's not a place where you will be memorizing. Uh, oftentimes, faculty will be asking you to demonstrate your understanding, especially you're all now grad students. So it's, it's slightly different. If you've never been to grad school, you do need that relationship with your professors. And you need to show that you have a higher level understanding and mastery of your subjects rather than just memory memorizing different theories. So um, keep that in mind. Also, as our panel has mentioned, it may be um, tempting because it's such a casual atmosphere here to feel like your faculty member, your professor is your buddy, your friend. And you know, you, you do have, you could have a relationship close to that, but you should always remember that that's your faculty member, that's your professor. And in the end, they will give you a grade, and you can't expect the 
that because you're friends, you will get a passing grade. That, that just puts everyone in a very uncomfortable situation. And don't expect to get a B because you need it to keep your GPA up or anything like that. You really need to do the work. So pay attention to the green sheets that you get. And that's, that, that's what you need to do to actually get that grade. 